hands. In that time, we've not seen him take any food or fluid or show any signs of dehydration. An average human should be just a few hours away from death. With a prolonged deficiency of food and water, you really, your brain is going to lack the glucose, you're not going to have enough fluid in your system. As you progress, without those fluids, you become delirious. On day four, that confusion will get worse, you may start fitting, your body is going into a kidney failure, and ultimately the person dies of dehydration. To rule out foul play within the secure inner enclosure, we defy the committee and enlist Prem Lema, Ram's oldest friend and carer, to get a closer look. In the beginning, he used to walk around this tree in the morning, chanting mantras. After that, he meditated for three months before going into the deep trance that he's in today. After a thorough search inside the tree and the ground area surrounding Ram, there's nothing suspicious. No food pipes buried or supplies hidden. Are people there creating a scam for us to believe in? I hope not. It would be an elaborate scam to do that. Surely if it was a scam, someone within the committee would have let on, told the papers, weakened for money. The people in this area, they don't tell lies. They tell the truth that you have. That is also the proof. After 96 hours of filming, Ram has defied modern science by continuing his meditation and remaining alive. Many of the pilgrims at the site are from a scientific background and are torn by what they see. Is he a miracle or a myth? We have whole religions built around miracles. Jesus rose from the grave. Millions of people believe that. That's the center and core of their religion. How do we say in another culture it's not possible? Everything is possible. Prolonged fasting is not as simple as we understand.